go ahead and examine what joint actions happen within each plane of motion. So we're going to start with sagittal joint actions. When we are interested in sagittal plane joint actions, we know that all of these will have a medial lateral axis of rotation. And there are three primary types of joint actions that occur in the sagittal plane. We have flexion and extension, dorsiflexion and plantar flexion, and hyperextension. And so we're gonna look at these. Here's an example of flexion and extension at the elbow. Flexion is a decreasing of the joint angle. Extension is an increasing of. Dorsiflexion and plantar flexion are ankle specific. Dorsiflexion is bringing the toes up towards the shin. Plantar flexion is pointing the toes down away from the shin. The way that I like to think about this personally is dorsiflexion is raising your toes up, kind of like making a shark fin, a dorsal fin. And if you were to plant your foot down, you would be doing plantar flexion. So here is an example of all the flexion and extension that it can occur in the arm. We see wrist flexion and extension, shoulder flexion and extension, and hyper extension when it goes past the midline. And we see elbow flexion and extension. Here's the flexion and extension that can happen on the lower part of the body. So we see flexion and extension of the knee, and then we see flexion and extension of the hips and hyperextension, again, when it goes past the midline is when we experience the hyperextension. Around the neck, we can have extension and flexion as well as hyperflexion. At the foot, dorsiflexion, plantar flexion, and at the trunk, we can also experience flexion and extension as well as hyperextension of the trunk. Thank you so much for watching that. I hope you learned a bit more about biomechanics. I have a couple of videos on the screen that I think you will find helpful, but I also want to recommend you check out biomechanics101.com. It's my massively in-depth biomechanics website that has everything from a full-fledged biomechanics university level course to the ultimate study guide and even a free biomechanics practice test. You can head over there, get that test for free, and you can even use the code in the description below to get 20% off anything you purchase over there. Hopefully I'll see you there, and regardless, I'll see you in the next video.